Hello, I am Rohan Shinde, and this is an experiment on Hyperledger Fabric. In this, we are creating a supply chain management. Uh, for this, we are using the education.git repository of Hyperledger. So, we'll clone it first from github um, slash hyperledger. Dash education dot get since I already have done it, it's already here. So we'll need a few dependencies to be installed. So we'll install Docker first. I already have it, so then to the snap install Docker, it's already here. Then we'll CD or rather we'll just go into education lfs fabric material to the app and we'll open a terminal here right. so first we need to edit some permissions since later we'll get a docker error So that's then now we have a start fabric.sh file so we'll run it it's a script to start the hyperledger fabric we'll start all the necessary servers so certificate authority couch db and all and it will also create some channels for our JS files to listen in, so it will take some time. It's now creating the channels. So it says start with register admin, but before that, uh, there's few commands. So we have to install version 8.9 of uh, Node because that's the only version that supports certain libraries that are used in this JS files. So I have already installed it. So and then after that you have to use them. So for that 8.9.0 since I'm already using it. Now, before you uh, npm install, you should uh, delete the modules that are downloaded. I won't do this since it takes time to reinstall them. After the rm command, you can simply npm install to install all the libraries. And then we can start with register admin. It will create a certificate for the admin. So this is the created certificate. And then we do register the user. Yeah, it, it will say fail to register. That's because I'm creating a new user. You won't get this the first time. And then we can simply start the server. It will run on port 8000. So we'll go into the browser. localhost 8000 bad localhost 8000 yeah so this is the application we can query all tuna catches it will display all the data that is on the blockchain so to query a specific let's say 7 we query this data we can query it here it will show it now the next is to add so let's say we'll I'll add another entry name of the vessel let's say 1234L and longitude is 30.12 stamp is a 10 digit and let's say name is wrong we'll create 
and then we'll query again so you can see 11th entry is added and we can query it as well now the last option they have given is to change the owner so so let's say 11 I want to change it to let's say admin it will say it will give this error but it will update it here so you can see admin is updated so this was it uh, in the background there's a lot of entries that are being created so let so we get the JSON file of the responses here you can see it for each query that uh, we click here there's a query created in the backend so as you can see right so that's it thank you